good morning, guys. How are you? I'm so excited <clears throat> to be um, doing a different, a different type of training this morning. So I'm going to wait for you guys to arrive. But while, while I'm waiting, I want to introduce you to my friend, Leslie. And Leslie's going to be helping us with the training today. And one of the things that, um, you know, you guys probably would love to know, because as women, we always want to find the scoop on everything, is um, Leslie and I met, how many years ago was it? Because it was at the incentive dinner, mm -hmm. right? So about 20, almost about 22 years ago. So almost 22 years ago. And Leslie and I, hey, good morning, Wendy. And Leslie and I um, were both with Pamper Chef. Leslie's still with Pamper Chef at the time. We were both Pamper Chef and she's still with Pamper Chef. And um, we were um, both reporting to the same upline, but there were individuals between our upline, whose name was Kelly, and then there was somebody else, and then Leslie and I were down in that, that line like that. So we had never had the opportunity to meet. Um, and so we were on this incentive trip. Um, hey, good morning, Kim. And Karen and um, so what happened is we were at a dinner table because we were all sitting together because of the fact that we were part of the same same team and um, her husband Scott he is just hilarious so of course um, you know he was performing if you will because that's the type of person he is and you know got us laughing and then throughout the the evening we discovered that Scott and I actually went to the same high school and 10 years apart I think. Yes. <laughs> so there was an age difference there for sure but 10 years apart well that night on um, a connection was made and you guys will know this when you go to for those of you that are going to convention especially the first time you want to sit with other people that you don't know at tables because something will strike a chord between you and that person and it'll be a lifelong transition, change, miracle in your life, because that's how it's been with Leslie and I. I mean, yeah. we have been best, honestly, best friends. Really, we made that connection. We stayed stayed connected, and, um, and here we are. I mean, it's just, you know, she's a prayer partner with me, and her, her, if you saw my Facebook post with her daughter Bryce, and she's got a wonderful son, and her daughter-in-law, Melissa, is actually with Lemongrass Spa also. And one of the things that um, that I think has helped me with Lemongrass Spa is that Leslie only lives in a clean, with clean choices, both with her food that she eats, and, and I actually, I think when the last five years I was with Pampered Chef, I did clean eating cooking classes and I did it because <laughs> Leslie would shame me when she found out that um, I was using in my life something clean but I wasn't using it at my cooking classes and she would say how can you bring that those you know unhealthy um, ingredients Kathy to your cooking classes when you're not using them yourself and I'm like oh you know they don't know any different and she said but you do so of course you know that's one of the things that she brought into into our lives is clean eating and then I transitioned all my cooking classes into clean eating and then it made a really easy transition coming into to lemongrass spa so um so anyway it's just been a real blessing but I'm the most excited today because I know that um, there are parts of your business that are strong and parts that may be not as strong that you might want to increase your level of, um, you know, of, of building, if you will. And one of the things that I'm going to really encourage you guys to do after you listen to Leslie, and by the way, before I forget, make sure your questions come at the end. Don't, don't sit there. I can't, hey, good morning, Emily. Hey, Rachel. I can't um, see the questions as she's talking. I don't want to just be distracted because I want to be taking notes. So if you hold them till the end, she'll answer them at the, at the very end for you. But one of the things um, I want to let you guys be thinking about is whenever you, you try something new, you have to give it enough time to have to work through the, the wrinkles, if you will. So for those of you that are just starting your, your Facebook parties, because that's what the training is on today, I want to encourage you to do a couple things. First of all, build up that calendar as full as you can on with Facebook parties. Because if you listen to Leslie and you go through any of the training I do and Tara and Kimberly, and you attempt to, to do Facebook trainings with some of our tips and techniques and systems, 
you the only way to iron out the wrinkles is to be able to have shows back to back and and be able to say okay this didn't work so now that I have a show coming up you know in a few days I'm gonna try it a new way otherwise what you're doing it's almost like I call it living paycheck to paycheck you're living show to show and you don't have a rhythm a momentum to really be able to try the things that we encourage you to try and be make it a signature a signature Facebook party and um, and Facebook parties are one of the easiest things to get. They're not always the most successful. We all know that. So that's why I'm going to suggest that after today's call, you spend the weekend asking your friends to do you a favor and maybe your past hosts and some customers and say, I just took a Facebook training um, and I want to test the theory, the, the system. Would you mind grabbing a few of your friends, inviting them and letting me practice letting you be the host and do this face these Facebook parties now I would suggest you get at least five set up and Leslie's gonna talk about how she bundles them and or or um, highlights yeah, yeah but, but but I mean you put them at two different times of the month oh yeah yes That's how I schedule my show schedule yeah. her parties yeah. so she doesn't have them like you know randomly all around her month she actually you know puts them in strategically in two different times of the month so she's working with one group of hosts and then at the beginning of the month and then she has another group of hosts she's working with at the end of the month so she, her her systems work because it's a system and that's one of the things that I have to also say um, and give give this credit to this amazing person because um, you know, with direct sales, we all go through slumps, if you will. And and really, a lot of it depends on the people, the team that you have. Right. I mean, you can only do so much personally. And so the incremental business and paycheck comes from the team that you that you um, build. And, you know, it's hit or miss at times. We would love to all get Kathy's and Leslie's on our team. But um, the key the key really is for you to, um, I have no idea where I was going. Oh, no, I was talking about Leslie. Yeah. They know. They're used to this all the time. <laughs> I, I, I do this mental pause all the time. So, so I watched Leslie about two years ago um, go through a little bit of a sluggishness in her business. And, you know, we prayed together and, you know, just said, you know, thought, you know, what else could she do? Because her in-home party experience was so strong. And so she decided to move into Facebook parties and she didn't just dabble in them. As you can see from her stats, she went full force and said, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to make sure that I perfect it. And that's what she's done. And so her Facebook parties are so strong. Now, you know, she does bulk up on them quite a bit each month because she knows that Sometimes they're not as successful as other times. Now, she has a very strong show average in Facebook parties, $660, um, and you'll know why, and um, you'll hear why. But at the same time, she makes sure that she over um, books her Facebook parties. She's, she's limited because of the type of, of you know, family dynamics and the, her daughter's in a lot of things and her husband, you know, does a lot of things at church and, and, you know, they're very involved. So she's limited by the amount of in-home parties she can do. So she has decided to, you know, catch the, the Facebook party fever, if you will, but she has done it in a way that has been very successful. And, you know, as well as some other people like Tara and Kimberly in our, in our company do also, but I thought it might be fun since I'm here with her this weekend to let you guys hear from her and um, and figure out if some of the things that she does might sound new to you and it might be something you want to incorporate into your business. So um, I have the interview questions <laughs> and so I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Leslie. Is there anything you want to say before we get started? Well, first I want to say hello everybody and I'm thank you Kathy for You're having welcome. me you can scoot in. as a, a guest speaker. So I've been in direct sales with Pampered Shop for 22 years and I'm an executive director with them and I have a fairly large team so this has been something that um, has really changed everything not just for my personal business but even my team um, so I'm excited to be able to share with you um, about the virtual shows on Facebook so yeah and one of the things that she does um, she gets a lot of bookings and recruits from her virtual parties because she believes that it does allow women especially um, and I know Frankie you and Cam are, are the men in our company but it does allow women to be able to keep somewhat of a similar schedule that they would 
you know, they dream about keeping and still earning some extra income. And, um, and Leslie and I were talking this weekend and the sampling parties are the key to, 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 um, boosting your start. So even if somebody is doing just virtual parties, which she does have some individuals on her team and that's all they do are just virtual parties. But the very first step they take when they, when they order that kit is they schedule a sampling at their home for their friends to come in and sample a recipe, you know, so they can show off the products. And for us, it's to sample the, the products that came in the kit, the face care and the polish, you, know, you do a hand spa demo. So that, we both agree, that is probably the, the non-negotiable um, conversation you have with new consultants is that sampling. Because without that sampling, they're, more, they're just nothing more than an online order taker. They're like Target, you know, where somebody comes through and buys and, you know, if they like it, great. If they don't, they return it. So that sampling just says to their friends and family, I, this is what I'm doing and I want you to come and sample or this is what I'm doing. I want you to, to see the rest, see the products in, in action using the recipe, using a recipe. So come and sample a recipe. So I'm going to really encourage you when you do hire a, um, a Facebook consultant, you still make sure that she or he has that sampling. And I actually recommend two because she's going to get 50, he or she's going to get 50% of the consultants showing up at that sampling. So you want to have a second date to say to everybody else, I still want you to be part of experiencing the, the products that I'm choosing. So, um, okay, let's get started. What I'm going to add to oh, yeah. that on yes. quick is the other thing that that does though, is it helps you to know your products. So if you are having people over and you are doing your lemon grass fob event or sampling, you're getting to know those products is just as much as you are teaching or and showing those products to your customer. That helps you tremendously with a Facebook event because on the Facebook event, you do still need to know your products. You still need to be passionate about that and we're going to talk about how I come in live and I do a few of my favorite things. So by doing that sampling, um, that's going to give you the um, the experience to be able to bring that into your virtual show. So when I do sign people up, and I do have a lot of my consultants, and they're men, and male and female, that are virtual consultants, but I also recommend that they do do a recipe sampling, so that way they have their hands on those products, they're learning about those products, they can get passionate about their products, they can sell those products, and then they can bring it into the Facebook. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. I'm going to scoot a little bit closer so you can get a better view of Leslie. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> All right. So the qu first question I'm going to ask you, Leslie, is how many Facebook parties do you do each month? I typically do about eight to 10 each month. And, um, and like Kathy was saying, I break them into two groups. It's, too crazy to have different Facebook events going at different times. That's it's I'm I'm a very very organized person. So I will start my Facebook parties on. Uh, I run them eight days with a pre-event. Um, so one day pre-event, seven days is the event. So I start on Thursday, and I will have at the most I will do is six at a clip because and the reason I limit them is because I want to be able to give each of those shows. A feeling like they're the only show I've got going on that month. I want it to be very personal. I want to take time with those customers and and answer their questions and um, I do a lot of emojis and things like that when they're involved. Um, I make it a lot of fun. So if I have too many shows, it's just too hard. So I run them from Thursday to Thursday with a pre-event on Thursday and then Friday the show kicks off and then we rerun it and then it ends on Thursday. So I might start, let's say, um, the six through, I'm trying to think of looking at the calendar, the through whatever the might 12, be the 12th. Let's, let's say the yeah. 12th. So that's the first part of the month. And then I will have a break where I'm finishing up, wrapping up, getting their orders, getting my host order. And then I won't start the other shows until the following Thursday. And then I run them until the following Thursday. So it's just those two groups. So it's the beginning of the month or the um, end of the month. And that's how I do them. I will, if someone says, oh, I want to do a Facebook show and I want to start now, I won't do it because it's not fair to them because they're not going to have, I'm going to be all over the place. I'll be t totally scattered thinking, okay, this show just started three days ago and now I've got a new show starting this day and they're not in sync. When you do them the exact same day, they're all getting the same information every single day and I do games. 
um, I do two games, one in the morning and one in the evening. And the reason I do the games is it brings them in. It makes people want to, oh, what is she, you know, I want to win a prize. Um, so they're on that page. And so that's where the fun is and that's where the interaction is. And if I have different shows going on on different times, there's no way I can, I can't track it all. So it just makes it much easier. Um, and it just, it works really, really well. And she uses a scheduling tool. That's the other thing you guys want to make sure yes. that you do is use a scheduling tool because with the scheduling tool, she can walk away knowing that the posts are going to happen. And what she's coming in to do is react to the comments and the conversation that's happening after the scheduling tool posts with her. Now she uses SinShare and mm -hmm. then there's, and, and so just post my party and, and, and then we've got Margo Margo's Margo. paid for Lemongrass Spa pays Mark for Margo. Right. So that's free for you guys. So, so you want to use, absolutely yeah. use it. Um, and especially if you're doing that many shows, there's no way I could do five or six shows at a clip and not have a posting service. And so I think, I don't know if one of the questions is how many times do I post? It is. Go ahead. Okay. So when I post to my shows, I do seven posts every day and occasionally there's eight and I do them at the exact same time. So it's, they're always at 7 a.m., 9 a.m., 11 a.m., then 2 p.m., then 4 p.m., 6 p.m., and 8 p.m. Every single day. And the, and the reason I do keep this pattern is because then they know. They know, oh, you know what, I bet she's got a post coming up. I also do that because it's spread apart enough that it's not like I, they feel like I'm overkilling them. Um, but it's a nice, it's about two hours in between that they um, will come back in and they see something else. So in the mornings, I always start with a uh, game and I always end it with a game. I do give tickets and um, I give them a ticket for every time they participate, every time they win a game. And the reason is because you, there's people who want to win something free. There's a lot of people that are all about free. Those games is what gets them onto your page, onto that event. Then if they're on there, then they're going to see the products that I'm highlighting. And then I do recipes. You guys can do all kinds of other stuff because your products are fantastic. I use them. Um, hundred percent. Hundred percent. In time. fact, all I, my makeup all is, of it, yes, is and your, all her skincare. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. all lemongrass. So, um, so you can do other little things where you might have, you know, a, you know, here's a hand, uh, you know, a hand spot, whatever, whatever, however you want to do it. But so I always do. I do a game, a recipe, a product, a product, a product, a recipe, a game. So that's kind of how mine works. And. Um, and then that way they're coming back in. And then the tickets, they get a ticket for um, all different kinds of stuff. And at the end of the party, the last day, I do a drawing. And on my phone, there I use it's called Lucky Raffle. And they have a, I, I probably can, I might be able to show it to and you. And it's an app. Yeah, it's an right? App. Yeah. It's free. And we, there's another so one. So it looks I think like they, this. Yeah. And then I love doing the drum. There's a, a drum that looks like this, if you guys can see it. And then all I have to do is tap on this. Thing and like I'll put Kathy's name. She wears glasses when she I wear glasses. So. <laughs> yeah. so there's Kathy's name, and then I just hit um, add, and then it adds Kathy into my barrel. Well, it's not gonna. Okay, there we go. So and then it adds her in. So now she's in my barrel. And so let's say someone earned twenty some tickets or fifty tickets, and I give them a ticket for. Now you guys do yours a little different, but I do my people on my shows. They order as we go. They can order as we go, and I will give them if they order fifty dollars, they get fifty tickets. And so I will put fifty tickets into this barrel. And then when I'm done, I just slide it over, and then it will do its. It starts, and then it does this little thing. And it's so cool. And then it pulls somebody out, which will, of course, be Kathy because she's the only one in there. I would be the winner anyway. I'm such yes. a lucky person. Aren't I a lucky person? And then it, she is. And then it will say Kathy. <laughs> yeah. So it's a very cool app. Yeah. So that's what I use to do the ticket thing. I also do a word of the show. So our for my shows, it's microwave. Yours could be lemongrass or spa or whatever. And every time they see that word, it, then I know they're reading. That's the reason I do that mm -hmm. too. I know they're reading my post because they're trying to find that word microwave. And then they have to comment below and they shout it out. So let's say they found, you know, one post had the microwave five times in it. They'll say microwave five. Um, and they get a ticket every time for that too. So they're getting tickets all throughout the show because at the end of the day, at the end of that show, I'm doing a drawing and one person is going to get some really fun Pampered Chef stuff made to them so you of course would do your lemongrass spot yeah now I'm gonna I'm gonna step back re re address um 
the comment about people ordering. Their ordering site is different than right, ours, ours so different. do not have them place an order for tickets. It you will right. You, yes, no, but I'm just, no, yeah. yes. I mean, I yeah. This is she's just going through what she does, which is perfect. I would not want you to, to eliminate that. Um, but I but don't give tickets for ordering. You give tickets for everything else. Um, all right. So um, the most important difference, Leslie, you find when partnering with your Facebook host versus your in-home host. Okay. Any difference? No, not any different at all. You need to partner with your host. When you partner with her, that's how you're going to have a successful show. So I tell that host right up the bat, I'll say to them, you know what, I want you to have a successful show. So in order for you to have a successful show, we need to work together. And so, and we want to make this a fun event for your guests. So I'm going to give you suggestions every day. Every day, I give my host a suggestion of what they can post on the page. Um, I'll give her pictures to post. I'll give her, I'll write the whole thing you mean out. In the event. In the event, mm -hmm. yeah. So I'll message her. I private message her or him. And then that way they can then put those messages on the event because you want them to be a part of it. You want her guests or his guests, they need to see that that host is involved in this show. Otherwise, it's not going to be a good show. I have them participate in the games. I have them participate in questions. Everything that I do, that host is involved more so even than her guests because that way it is a successful show. Well, and one of the things I, I see you guys post a lot is you can't get your host engaged. And I have I know I've encouraged you guys to give your host scripts that you want her to use when inviting people and when posting on the wall, her wall, that she's having a Facebook party. But Leslie takes it to a whole nother level where she continuously feeds her host. Now, you might, you might say she continuously, you know, nudges or whatever, but you're feeding your host. You mm -hmm. are saying to your host, this is, this is, I already know what I want you to say. Why would I have you have to think about it why why would I say to you would you mind posting something or would you mind telling him how much you love this product why wouldn't you say you know and, and tell her ahead of time right there are certain things that when you say them they're gonna be much more insightful and impactful than I say them so you know if you don't mind I'll give you the words to say and even the the post to, to add to the words and I'll nudge you I'll, I'll let you know when it's time for you to show up and do that. And of course, your host is going to love the fact yeah. that you have thought about her friends that are in there by giving her the skill set to work with you. Right. Because remember, this is our job, not hers. And so a lot of times when you give up certain control because you think she should be doing that, that's when you you lose that um connection with her because she's thinking oh my gosh what did I do I'm too busy what you know why did I choose this so you constantly just the same with the home show you constantly feed her the things you want her to do give her the scripts give her the photos etc right. so, so it's um, definitely a partnership yeah. and I, I post to them I message my host every single day and I personalize it. So it's a it's a private message and I'll say, you know, good morning. Um, I hope you're having a great day. Here is what we're going to do today. And so here's your suggestions for post. I will make sure that they private message their guests. If they're a lot of times on an event and you've seen it where you have people that are going and then if you look at the guest list, you can see who has seen the event, but they're not going. So I will prompt my host to message those people and say, hey, I see that you saw the event, but you haven't check going make sure you go another thing that I do that you all absolutely could do is I do a I try to get 30 going that's our goal our host and I are we are working to get 30 guests attending that show I know if 30 guests attend it's going to be a successful show so I do a drawing for tickets um, on Monday so if I start the show with you know pre event is on Thursday we've got Friday Saturday and Sunday for my host to try to get as many people there as possible and I give her post that says, you know, make sure you're going. Leslie's going to do a, um, a drawing on Monday night. Only those that are going are being going to be able to be a part of this drawing. And the drawing is just extra tickets. So they just get 10 tickets because they're going. So everybody, regardless if they played games or whatever, on Monday night, it's going to, it's this little early bird um, picture that I put. It's a, a bird getting a worm. Um, and it says, you you know, you're the winner, you, you, everybody gets 10 tickets. So it just gets them to go. When they go, 
they see all those posts and then you know that they're participating and it just makes it makes it a successful show so, so there's lots of things that you can do to get attendance up yeah and I and I love the fact that she talks to her host each month now again remember each day, she, each day excuse me <laughs> she batches these so the conversation she's having with her the host in the first of the month she can store in a word file so yep. whatever she does for that one host she private message she brings that same she just copy and paste copy and paste yep. and again you can insert her name or you don't have to insert her name because it's a personal message i mean it's a private message so you don't have to all of a sudden change the name that says kathy or leslie you can just because it's a private message it's private to her and so it's it's personalized in that in the truest sense but you've got that in a word file and then you just copy and paste that every single morning to the same host and that's why you want to batch these shows these parties because um i'm reverting back to shows <laughs> yeah, right. the Do parties so. because you want to be able to have that connection consistently and it's with easier. every single oh it's my easier. gosh it's so easier yeah, yeah and it's a system and that's what makes it makes it successful is the fact that it's a system so if you are and I do I have all this all my host coaching is in a word document and I do the exact same thing to every host and what's really cool is at the end of that show every one of my hosts say to me oh my gosh you made this so easy for me to have a successful show I have never had a host say to me Oh, I can't believe you messaged me every day. I can't believe that you told me to post these things. Oh, this was awful. Never, ever had that. They all have thanked me um, and were very appreciative that I made it so easy for them. I gave them the words and that their show was successful because they walked away with all this great products. So it really does work. Host coaching works. So you host coach a virtual show just like you would your regular shows. You want to get attendance up. You want the host to participate. Um, so you just take it. It's just a different avenue, you know. And so instead of it where they're in your, you know, you're in someone's living room doing a, a party, you're in their computer. And uh, But you look at it. I treat it the exact same way that I treat a show. Yeah. Now, the other thing um, I wanted to ask Leslie is your host, does she invite personally or does she mass invite? You know what I mean by right. mass invite. Okay. Um. They use, they do, I think, a little bit of both, mm -hmm. you know, so I tell them to invite everybody they can think of and not to prejudge because the great thing about, and I do mine are all events, I do not do groups for my shows because in the event they have a choice whether they're going to attend or not and so nobody can be um, upset um, that they, they were, were invited, right, that they were, group. exactly, yes. because with a group you're adding people and people don't like that, so with an event they can choose if they're going to go or not attend. So my host, I tell them to invite as many people as they possibly can, um, but to really think about, um, you know, if there's some people that they know no. that absolutely don't like that stuff, not to add them, but usually they invite a, a, a good deal of people, so... And she, but listen to, listen to Leslie's word choices. Think about, invite as many as you can, but think about those you're inviting. So you're not having her click her entire Facebook list right. of 20, of 200 people. However, you're saying don't prejudge. Right. I mean, it's exactly. the same thing with a home party. You know, somebody says, well, you know, my girlfriend, I'd love to invite her, but her husband got laid off. And I said, you don't make that choice for right. her. She can yeah. tell you she can't come and why she can't come but you never not you never leave her out and that's what they think why you know why was i left out type of thing yeah because i look at it this way if i don't invite somebody then i've offended them because they don't know why you didn't invite right, them right they don't yeah. know why i didn't invite them if i invite them i didn't invite, offend them i included them and then they have the option of saying yes or no so always invite just like you always ask people to join, you always ask people to host parties, because if you don't, then you've offended that one person that you didn't ask. And so um, they have a choice to say yes or no, but I want them to feel like they're included. Everybody's included. Okay, so we're going to actually get into the meat of this. And what I want Leslie to do is I want she, she's going to walk you through what she does, during live posts, etc., um, why she strategically chooses, how she strategically chooses to kick it off and to wrap it up and how she gets so many, so much sales and bookings. You book off of every mm -hmm. single every, Facebook party. Yeah. She books 
off the party. She doesn't make phone calls. She doesn't ask her host. Is there somebody that didn't attend? Oh, I did want to ask you, Leslie, does your host ever have have friends that aren't part of Facebook mm -hmm. that she wants you to send catalogs yeah. to and invite? Yeah. Want, just spend a few minutes with that. Okay. So um, I always send my host a host packet. Yay! So all my Facebook shows get a host packet with catalogs and order forms because there are people that are not on Facebook, believe it or not. And coworkers. <laughs> and coworkers. So they get orders. Um, so, and then one of my very first posts, now you guys do yours a little differently, but um, we do have a virtual catalog and I post the virtual catalog, but I say to them, if you would rather have a catalog in your hand that you can flip through and want, a, you know, a marker that you can highlight, then I will mail you a catalog. So I will mail out catalogs to any guest that wants a catalog in their hand um, if they're not closed to my host and that's the one thing I love about virtual shows is the host can be here in Maryland and all her guests can be everywhere else you know and I've done shows all over the place one of my biggest shows it was over two thousand dollars um, it was a show that I did with uh, one of my past hosts that used to live in Northern Virginia and she her and her husband were at the embassy in um, the Philippines and so we did a show in Manila and it was really cool and it was a really big Facebook show over two thousand dollars so um, which is so is so cool. So everybody that lived in the States, they had their stuff shipped to them. And everybody that was over there in the Philippines, we had everything go to the embassy. Um, but I sent catalogs all over the place because she's all the way over in the Philippines. She can't hand out these catalogs to the people here. So, of course, I'm going to do that. So I do, I do yeah. send them catalogs. And I wonder if that's a step that you guys are not thinking about. Yeah. We, we, I train a lot on catalog parties because I believe... That's the bulk of, I believe, with Facebook, it could be the bulk of the orders if you, for some reason, are having crickets on a mm -hmm. Facebook party where people aren't chiming in or something. Instead of saying, nobody's chiming in, you can do a plan B where you say to your host, well, how, it seems like, you know, we, you know, people might, you know, not be interested in being on the event or something like that, whatever you want to say, but what you want to make sure your host is equipped so you can say, you know, don't for, you know, how are your friends at work? loving shopping or browsing from the catalog. So I think it's really important that the two go hand in hand as strongly as possible. Um, just like when you're in-home host, people aren't going to be able to attend her in-home party, but that doesn't mean she doesn't allow them to have a catalog and to place an order. I mean, you take that opportunity away from her and her friends if you don't include catalogs. So I love that. I love the fact that Leslie looks at this host as though she's a catalog host Right. Well, that's to me a Facebook show is a catalog show, just with pictures and with for us it's you know in videos um, and games. So it's a catalog show on steroids, is how I like to say it. <laughs> yeah. um, so you treat it just like a regular catalog show, except for there are way more successful because of the fact that people love. Pictures. That's why Pinterest mm -hmm. is so popular. People love to see things, and so these Facebook events are, you know, catalogs with pictures um, mm -hmm. and their and conversations and conversations. And so there, it's a whole new element. It's like a three D catalog show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so Leslie, take a few minutes and walk them through. The you show. talked about the pre the preview. So the preview is how many days? The pre show. A pre event. I only do pre -event. A one day pre event. Okay, one event pre event. Mm -hmm. and, and what do you do in that? that? So the pre event day is just how this is going to work. It's just welcoming them. Do you come it, live? Um, not no, on the okay. pre-event. Okay. So on the pre-event, I just talk about the tickets and how that works. I post the link to the catalog so they can start getting their wish list together. Um, I just kind of build up, you know, what we're going to do. It's a very light day with post, um, but it just kind of goes through how it, how it works is basically it and that day is the day where you know the host is getting as many people on there as she can and that's where we're trying to build up the attendance day one kicks off with um our our for us our the the line that launched pampered chef which is stoneware um so i always do our signature line first because that's what grabs them in i want it to be and and then because sometimes you're going to lose attention as the show goes on so i want to do the most um the best products first that are going to have the most impact so that way if people are done with the show after a couple days and they want to place their order and they're ready, then they don't have to keep coming back in. Um, so I will do that. So that second day. Now, when do you do your first live, though? I'm going to tell you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> she told me this last night. She's I like this so all the time. I know. I am I like this. Oh, listen, they, they know I'm like this all the time. They know I'm like a tension span of a gnat. She, she does. She's yes. like, tick, 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 tick. we'll go so, tap, tap, tap. Yeah, right, so, so I'm, I'm going to keep her on track. I'm going to step aside. <laughs> so I'm going to step aside. I'm not going to say another <laughs> yes, word. Yes, she will. Yes, yes she will. Yes. So anyway, so the second day, <laughs> so that's, so the first day of the real event is the stoneware. And then at the end, one of my posts is I introduce myself. So it's a picture of me with my family. I tell them why I got in Pampered Chef, how long I've been in, that kind of stuff. So um, I don't go live yet. So it's the the third day, which is the, you know, so first day is pre-event. Second day is the actual event. So it would be the third day or the second day of the event. Um, that's when I come in live. And a lot of times I come in at breakfast because, of course, you know, we have kitchen things that we're cooking on so I might have some food cooked um I usually have something kind of semi done not a whole demo you might you know be doing a spa and you could be talking about it and how wonderful it smells whatever um but I come in and I just I do a the t caption will say a few of my favorite things and um because that's the biggest question I always get, and I'm sure you guys get it too. You know, what's your favorite product? So what I do is I, I'll come in and I'll kind of recap a few of the things I've showed. So if, I, if I've showed stoneware, I'm going to highlight the Deep Cover Baker because that's my favorite product. If I've done the Rock Crock line, I'm going to talk about the Dutch Oven because that's. So I just pull a couple little products out. You, I keep these live very short because people don't have, like Kathy, they, their attention span. They go from one <laughs> thing to the other. No, I'm just teasing her. But it's true. They don't want to watch you for a half an an hour but they will watch you for five to eight minutes so I try to keep them at that way so I'll come in live and I'll say hey I just want to introduce myself I'm Leslie Caperton I've been with Pamper Chef 22 years and I want to thank all of you again for joining um, the party and we're gonna have a lot of fun and um, hopefully you've enjoyed how it's flowing so far so it's gonna continue this way and I just want to highlight a few of my favorite things so I'm gonna come in live a couple more times to highlight some of my favorite things and right now and then I just kind of talk about a few of those products um, and thank them for joining I thank the host just like if I was at a live show I want that host to feel so special that you know that they booked a show with me and I want to thank everybody that has joined because I think um, the fact that they've taken time out of their busy lives to be a part of this party you want to make sure that they know how much you appreciate that so that's when I come in the first time live um, so it's just kind of a light thing and I might have bacon and eggs that I made on products or um, we have this awesome whipped cream maker and I might, I'll might i have froth in it for the coffee so I can show them something a little bit different. Um, so I take the product that they would think that this is all they use it for and I show them that they can do something else with it. So yours might be your um, the healing elements, right? Because you can use that for everything so you might come in and say this is one of our number one products and not only can you do the stuff that says on this label but you can also do this or this is my favorite thing I use it with however you want to do it but that's kind of what I do and then the next day I'll have you know the same flow which I told you how I post um, and then I'll come in the next day so it's like every two days I come in live um, I don't announce when I'm coming in I just kind of work it in a, cause especially if I have six shows going on it's going to be whatever I can carve out and you know, it's stored to do in there that. anyway it's recorded right anyway. it's recorded so it doesn't matter they'll come back and they'll watch it and then I'll say a few more of my favorite things so that second time I come in live and I talk about a few more of those favorite things I'll say you know yesterday I posted about the knives and let me this is my favorite knife or I posted about you know the microwave popcorn maker this is why it's my favorite and I'll have a whole batch of popcorn in that maker um, and something else and then I'll say to them but one of my absolute favorite things and I need to share it with you is the opportunity of what I do and then I go into my recruiting spiel just like if I was at a live show um, I'm going to talk about what what this pamper shop business has done for me so something that I do and something that's very easy that you guys can to do this as well is I kind of lean back I have my catalog because they could and I refer to the link of the the catalog link the virtual catalog that they can go back and they can flip through to the back page because that's where our recruiting our opportunity um, spread is on and I'll say to them you know I don't know if any of you you know come on here looking for a job probably not and but I don't know what your situation is I don't know if you have more month left at the end of your pay 
paycheck. Um, I don't know if you um, have credit card debt that you can't get rid of and you are, are trying to figure that out. I don't know if you're looking for something that's flexible that gets you out of the house and to bring in an extra couple hundred dollars a month. I don't know if you're trying to save for retirement or maybe you're trying to save for a college for your kids. I don't know if you have student loans that you just can't pay off. I don't know if you've been wanting to go on that fabulous vacation and you just don't have the extra money. But what I do know is that this business has made a difference in my life. And then I go into what some of the things that we were able to do with, with our business. So it is a, you kind of lean back and just kind of do your thing and share from the heart, share from the heart and you will recruit. I'm telling you, <laughs> you'll recruit. So then that's it. And I'll say, all right, everybody, thanks for joining me today. And I'll be back in a couple of days. And then that the third time I come in live, it's usually the day before the last day. I do a wrap up. I kind of talk about a few more things that are my favorite things, and then I talk about booking a show. So I'll say, now you may have created a huge wish list, and you want everything in the catalog, and you might not be able to afford everything in the catalog. So you know what? So I talk about that virtual link again to the catalog, and the back page, um, ours is the very back page, talks about the host benefits, and I talk about our host benefits and why they would want to have a show, um, and that's where I do my booking spiel. So I'm doing my welcome my booking spiel and my recruiting spiel, just like I would if it was a live party. Mm -hmm. um, and then I talk about how we're gonna wrap it up and what to expect the last day. And that's my shows. Yeah, and it's, listen guys, it you can see there is such a system that she's created that is so easy for us to do. And again, Tara, Kimberly, um, all those strong Facebook um, consultants, they have a very similar story. I just wanted, since I was here with, with Leslie, I wanted her to be able to share her success because it has been the turning point in, I mean, $25,000 in sales. I mean, that's, it's, it's the yeah. blessing that, that she prayed, she prayed and she, you know, worked. She took the gift that was given to her and, and decided to push through some of the barriers I mean, I'm sure the first time you went Facebook Live, you were sweating mm -hmm. under your armpits. Oh yeah. So again, it's it's to just practice. but it you do have to practice, and that's why uh, two things I want to leave you with. First of all, this weekend, beg for those those testers, beg your friends to allow you. And listen, you want to make sure that these are friends that are on Facebook. Don't beg for a friend and she's yeah, not on not Facebook. On Facebook. So you, you get, you say, uh, you know, I'm trying this new system and we're going to do tickets. We're going to do games. I'd love for, to, uh, would you help me out? So this is, this is probably one of the few times I'm going to say, ask for a party. Um, so that's number one. Number two, one of the things that I really trained my team previously, my previous team on, is to always think about the word enough. Because if you have enough Facebook parties going on, you don't care if that one Facebook party doesn't do anything. You don't care. If you have enough new consultants that you're working with, excuse me, leads that you're working with, you don't care if somebody says, you know what, this isn't a good time for me. You're not going to be devastated because you're working with three or four other potential consultants. If you have enough in-home parties on your calendar, you don't care if that home party had to reschedule or cancel. It's when you don't have enough of the things in your life that allow you to have and experience the blessing of, of knowing that this, this will work out because. And that, that because is, is the word enough. And that's what I really want to leave you guys with today um, is just build that enough in your business, in your life, that when the when a few apples fall out of the cart, the cart hasn't tipped over and destroyed your entire business, your entire month. So, um, so let's go ahead and take questions. I appreciate you guys, um, you know, saving your questions. I love the love notes. They're just, I mean, I this know, is the most so special sweet. thing. So, do we have any questions before Leslie um, before Leslie leaves us? Okay. Um, I just whispered to Leslie, she's going to give me her Word file. Now, again, remember, these are her products in a Word file, but you'll be able to substitute the products. By be, by, by getting her Word file, you're, you'll see... My host coaching? You mean the host coaching? Yes. Yeah. yeah, what you use. It doesn't really have... I don't think okay. it has much in there for okay. products. It's, okay. It's all of it you can use. Okay. But I'll send it to you. Yeah, just, weekend. yeah, whatever you have. Yep. Whatever. I'll and send I'll, to my host coaching and I'll, and I'll And I'll take a look at it and... 
and I'll tell you what, I'll take a look at it and then see what, if we, if I want to change anything, if not, we'll pass it straight through. Yes. But if there's anything I can tweak that'll make it more personalized for you, you know, I'll do it for you. So, um, okay, thank anyway, you so much, hey, Kim. You're all welcome. Kim and Rachel. Yeah. Any other questions? Do you guys have questions? I know this is, this has been amazing. And I, I just sent Leslie the questions and then through our conversation over the course of the time that I've been here, there has just been so many things that I knew in my heart that was going to be so, so valuable to you guys. And I'm so, so appreciative. Oh my gosh, I love you so much. I love you. Yeah, so this has been so great. No problem. All right, all right, yeah. So make sure you watch the entire recording. For those of you that are leaders, tag your peeps. Yeah. If you don't tag them when we do something like this, because we don't we don't do this in the in the community group because there's so many different product conversations going on. So they're over there in the community group and they may not know what happened in Coffee with Kathy unless you tag them. So Adriana says, thank you, Leslie, answered most of my questions. I know. It was fabulous. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Very All good. right. Okay, guys, have a great rest of your Saturday. I know we will. We're yes. going to be out and about, and then I have a, a baby shower later today, and then heading to my daughter's house and spending the rest of the weekend with her. So um, I will I will talk to you guys soon. All right? Love you so much, guys. Thanks again for being with us this morning. Bye. Thanks, Bye. Thanks, everybody.